Hello, hello, my name is Callista and welcome back to Firewatch. In the last episode, we were making our way down to the lake to try and stop whoever was setting off these fireworks. Now then, apparently we need to go down this shale slide. Uh, this shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down this? I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos. Hmm. Yeah, well, I'd go with Widowmaker. Come on, it's really not that bad. It's a 50-foot cliff made of rocks that look like knives. They just look like knives, okay? Plus, there's already a Widowmaker on the backside of Carter Mountain. It would be confusing. Pardon? Well, I'm... I'm, I'm... <laughs> Oh, we've actually named it Widowmaker. It's steep. Nice. So uh, I'm I'm assuming that you do know how to uh do this type of thing, Henry. There there you go. That does not look safe to me. Oh god. I should mention I'm petrified of heights. I do not do anything with heights. That is a no-go for me. Whoa, sh you see, this, this right here, this is why I don't fuck about with gravity. Gravity will always win. Gravity will call you a little bitch and then go on with its day. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? I fell. <sighs> Widowmaker got the best of me. What exactly happened? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. I mean, even even if we did break anything, like, who's gonna help us? I mean, it's not like some paramedics are gonna be able to get out here. We need, like, an air ambulance. Oh, God, and that, that'd probably take ages. This is beautiful. I, I think I mentioned this in the last episode, but I did notice that there is a, um, there's a camera button in the, uh, oh my god, what do you call it? In the control list, that thing. And I, I really want to know when we're going to get that camera because I can't wait to take some pretty, pretty photos. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. Mm, lovely. Some very nice god rays. I, I think I can see something over there. And there. What is this? R is jog, right? Yeah, it is. Oh, god damn it. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Um, I'm telling you, I bet it's teenagers. I bet it's teenagers. Yeah, we- I want to clean all of these up. I- I am a friend to nature. I am not leaving a single can behind. I swear one fell. There, there it went. Yep, you're coming with me. I mean, if if we leave them, like, what what if a bear? What if a bear finds these? Either the bear is going to try and eat the can and choke to death, or it's going to drink the beer, and then we've got a drunk bear to deal with. And I I do not want to deal with a drunk bear. No, thank you. If bears are willing to kill people, bury their bodies, and then eat the rotten meat later while sober, then God knows what they could do while drunk. Go. Is that all of them? Pretty sure that's all of them. Lovely. And, oh, they, they made a fire. Pretty sure you're not supposed to do that. Hmm. We've got a couple of rock sacks. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Can they do that? They have come and fucked up nature. Can they then report us for, you know, dealing with their shit? Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, 
They color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Let's stomp that out. There we go. And ooh. They brought whiskey. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. And apparently it's good whiskey. Oh shit. Ferret or Irish. Don't mind if I do. I'm uh, I'm taking that for evidence. That's what I'm going with. Oh, got more beer cans. God damn it. How much How much beer were they drinking? Flipping heck. How can they even light fireworks? Surely they'd be passed out by now. And, uh, give me a minute. I want to pick this up first. Yeah, we... We found the fireworks supply. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Okie doke. we go. And clothes. Two pairs of clothes. We're dealing with two people. Okay. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Can do. Oh god, they're lighting fireworks naked. That's, that's health and safety right there. Ooh. At least one of them is a woman. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Oh god, we can- We can ex- We are not- We are not touching that bra. Oh god. <laughs> and we aren't touching the pants either. Uh, there are, uh, panties. <laughs> I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? Oh my god, Henry. Henry, you poor, poor bugger. Oh god, is that... Oh my god, th they're both chicks. There's a... Ooh. Yes? There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know. Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Okay. Oh, Henry, I... I get why you're so so afraid. I mean, everyone knows that, you know, one naked lady, that's fine. But when there are two of us, you know, like, there will be blood, violence, you know, it, it'll, it'll just be terrible. I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping. Yeah. Is that a guy over there? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Enjoy dealing with that. Oh, God, and they've got, like, those little five... And they're naked. No, ladies. Ladies, no, you shouldn't be doing that. Teens, they are drunk. If they're under 21, then they are committing multiple crimes. I know you guys are setting up bottle rockets out here, okay? How? Because you're hiding in the bushes, spying on us? Give him a break, Lily. He probably hasn't seen boobs in 20 years. <laughs> oh my god. Ladies, what are you doing? Uh, Duck all of your stuff. The fireworks, the whiskey, you name it. What? You dick! Also, setting off fireworks out here isn't just stupid, it's illegal. Yeah, so is stealing, asshole. Confiscating. Fucking bogus. You're gonna pay for that. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, oh god, ladies, ladies, your clothes and stuff is back that way. Where are you going? Oh, oh god, and, oh, and they left their boombox. It's 
done. Well, that's ominous. <laughs> Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. No worries. Apparently this is my job. Now then, how do we get back? Because obviously we can't go back up the shale slide thing. Also, ooh. Well, this lake does seem like a good spot to swim, even if the last people to do so were assholes. Yeah, right now though, it's all snow melt, so you'll freeze your balls off. But as hot as it's been, maybe that's a fair trade. Starting to feel like it. I don't know why staring at this patch of grass got, you know, a thing about the lake, but oh well. And we got a trail sign. Ah, Two Forks Fire Lookout that way. Uh, hey, there's a trail to Two Forks Tower down here near the lake. Yeah, that's your tower. So I should go this way. Well, you're not climbing back up that slide. Okie doke. At least it's all nicely signposted. I... Okay, those two girls were assholes, but I really do hope they're okay, because they're just running around the woods naked. And that does not seem like a good idea. I mean, like, it's not cold or anything. Like, it's the middle of summer, so it's... Like, I mean, they won't die of hypothermia or what. Oh, oh then again, if they've been swimming in a cold-ass lake. Oh, God, I don't... I don't want to have to deal with finding their bodies later. That would just suck. Ooh. I think this is called a gorge? I'm really not sure. We don't- we don't tend to have gorges. Not where I'm from. I mean, there are the moors. They're- they're very nice to go hiking, but personally, I would not. Mainly because there are bodies up there. And I don't want to be the person to find them, because knowing my look, I would be. Oh, that is lovely. That is beautiful. Oh, I saw that. I'm I'm just going to assume that's normal for a gorge, just random dust happening, I think. Let me see my map. Hmm. Thunder Canyon. It's a canyon. Okay. And there's Cash 303. I'm gonna sneeze. Excuse me. And now, uh, what, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, there's Cash 303. And then, yeah, there does seem to be a path going to Two Forks. Got it. And there's Widowmaker. I love it. Okay, you can put that down, Henry. Yeah, I know where I'm going. I think. I hope. So, I have a bit of a confession to make. Okay. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Yeah, I, I want to try and be friendly with Delilah. There's no reason to get on our boss's bad side. Oh, I can see my tower from far away. Yeah, we experimented with hidden underground towers for a while, but <laughs> we weren't really happy with the results. I'm with you all summer, huh? With whatever this sense of humor is. Can you even believe? You're gonna love it. I really like the dialogue between Delilah and Henry. Uh, excuse me. I would like to climb. Let me climb, please. Thank you. But yeah, it, it just seems very natural and believable. And I, I really enjoy that. I like Delilah's sass. And Henry's kind of dry wit thing that he's got going on for him. I like that. Um, admittedly, Delilah being drunk on the job, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that. On one hand, yeah, at least she was honest with us. She came clean about it. But at the same time, she's, she's our boss. 
She's she's supposed to be the responsible one here. I'm talking like I've ever had a boss. I'm not. I've I've never been employed. I'm unemployed as fuck. Whoa shit. That doesn't sound good. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Mm. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. Damn! I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What was? What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? Damn, poor dude. Also, very interesting. Henry's been hit by lightning before. Hmm. But uh, yeah, what I was saying, I've, I've never actually had a job, but before the pandemic, I used to volunteer at a local library as a voluntary library assistant. I, I miss that. I miss being surrounded by books. Hmm. What's in this one? Excuse me. I would like to open it. Hello? There we go. Uh, it was one, two... Three, four. There we go. Now then, what's in here? Okay. And that is a very cool poster. I I'm very fond of stags. If you hadn't noticed from my uh, my icon and my outro screen. Ooh piece of a horn there's a horn or an antler or whatever well antlers are made of bone and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails i guess this is a bone antler a ranger must have found it this spring very cool uh, excuse me oh whoops at, at least he threw it back in uh, in the box I want to examine it. Ooh, yes. Very cool. Oh, Henry. Oh, well. I found a flashlight. There's one in there? Great. Well, the sun's going to go down soon, so if the batteries still work, you're in luck. Sweet. Oh, come on. Ah. At least it does still work. F to toggle flashlight. Got it. Now, I believe we need to go through the cave. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. <laughs> oh my god, Henry. Yeah, I'm, uh... Delilah seems nice and all, but I'm not... I, I like my supervisor to be my supervisor, not trying to be buddy-buddy. Hello? <laughs> nice. Okay, well that's closed off. And we got a gate? This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Damn. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, sorry, Hank. Um, spelunking. Another thing that I have no interest in. I, 
I wouldn't say I'm claustrophobic. Typically, I'm not claustrophobic. But the thought of being really far underground with, like, rocks overhead and, you know, not being able to, like, being in a really tightly enclosed space, that just, um... That does not sound like fun to me. That sounds like hell. And something very dangerous and stupid. No, thank you. Uh, get up. Okay. Whoa! There's some guy out here. Some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What? What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. I, I get you, Delilah. It's just... That was so weird. Like, that... that okay, it's... This is a, a national park, I presume. The, probably just some guy walking his dog or whatever. Certainly wasn't Mothman. Admittedly, I don't think Mothman is in Wyoming. I'm pretty sure he's in West Virginia. Point Pleasant? There you go. I don't believe in cryptids or anything like that, but... You know, going and hunting for Mothman in West Virginia does sound pretty fun. Ooh. Very nice. Ah! That's how you could see us. Hey, you keep your lights on at night? I'm doing a crossword puzzle. I, I do a lot of crossword puzzles. Okie doke. Fair dues. I'm not gonna lie, there was a, a very suspicious part of me that wondered what if there are CCTV cameras in the, uh, in the lookout tower. And Delilah's just checking up on us via that. But nah, okay, she was in her tower using binoculars. Okay, fair dues. I hope that guy's wandered off. I... <laughs> like I said, I would love... Like I said, it was probably something very, very normal, but just... Who would do that? Just staring down from above, shining your flashlight at someone climbing up a rock. That ain't normal behaviour. Come on. And the next set. Come on, Henry. There you go. Good job. Whoosh it. Yo, Henry, that... That's the second time you've fallen today. I'm calling that some bad juju. This is... This is clearly a sign. You shouldn't be here, dude. You should be taking care of Julia. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. And again, that is a beautiful, beautiful view. Damn. There we go. Back to... Back to two forks. But what is this? Hello? Ah. Ugh. You know, I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Ugh, thanks, Mom. What kind of name is Forrest Burns anyway? Well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. 
I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Seriously? Royal? Butts. <laughs> I didn't think anyone had been named Royal since the 1850s. Well, Royal's mom, Flo, was a bit of a trendsetter. Flo Butts? Oh, man, that's even worse. Yeah, well, it's still better than Forrest Burns. Well, damn! Also, I'm I'm in agreement with Henry. This guy is creepy. I don't like him. There, we, yes, face the floor, face the floor with you. Okay, so I I need to tell you this story. So, it's Royal Butts is a pretty bad name, but this this girl I went to sixth form college with her. She had a bit of a weird sense of humor. Like this one time we were doing a group project with this guy, and he he wasn't her friend. He was just in this, he had a, you know, a similar class as her, in the same class as her, excuse me. And for some reason, as a joke, she said, I'm imagining what it must be like to watch you pee. Like, and that was a joke to her. He, he got up and moved table. He was like, I'll do this group project on my own. She had a really weird sense of humor, really out there. And when she was 19, she found out she was pregnant. And when she found out it was a girl, on Facebook, she posted, we've just discovered that our baby is going to be a little girl and we're so excited to announce we're going to call her Rainbow Aurora. It was, it was either Rainbow Aurora or Aurora Snowflake. I can't remember which. And everyone thought she was joking. Literally everyone, all the comments on that Facebook post were, that's a great name, lol. And she was, all of her responses were like, isn't it though? We thought so. Thank you. And every day, for the remainder of her pregnancy, she would post on Facebook, I can't wait to meet my special angel princess, Rainbow Aurora. Rainbow Aurora, you are the fabulous daydreaming nightlight of my life. You know, like, just by, by the time that, uh, you know, her due date rolled around, literally it was like, where are you, my special angel princess, sunflower, pumpkin spice latte? You know, like, it, it was just a paragraph, a paragraph of this. Now, fortunately, the baby was a week late because at that point, her family realized, oh shit, she isn't joking. She's actually gonna call this kid Rainbow Aurora. And I think it was her grandmother sat her down and said, listen, you want to give your kid a really unique, special name. I get it. But if you call her Rainbow Aurora, I guarantee when she hits 18, she's gonna change her name to Anne or Sarah or something like that because if you call her Rainbow Aurora, she is going to get bullied. Mostly by us, her family, because that's a really stupid name. And this, this talk apparently got through to her. And she put all the names she and her boyfriend liked into a hat and they picked out two. And it's, it's so unfortunate. Because, again, they, wanted, they really wanted a double-barreled first name. And the first name is lovely. The second name is lovely but when you put them together it's it's a las vegas stripper name it's like mercedes champaz that is not the kid's actual name i'm not going to say what her actual name is in case this somehow gets back to her mother and she comes to kick the shit out of me but it's it's awful it's terrible i don't know which is worse uh rainbow aurora or what she ended up going with So it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Okay. Okay, thank you for that tidbit of information there. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep. It doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hair dryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could <laughs> never. Oh, Henry, I'm I'm sorry, buddy. That's just the way it's got to be. You're doomed to a summer of bad hairdos. The shame. The shame. Oh, that that storm seems to be getting closer. Um 
Excuse me. Uh. What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah. Look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell? Did... You should get inside. Fuck me. Oh, I don't. I do not like this at all. Oh, oh god. Oh god, you know you know what? I'm going to be mean. I'm almost out of time, so I'm going to end the episode here. In the next, we will discover just what is going on in our tower. But until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.